Um, I I've uh I heard you you mentioned that you wanna, uh, you know, like have your content to be discovered by social or by by search engines. You know, like search engines can like pick up maybe the number one post, and you know, obviously, uh, Flutter is nowhere good on search engine optimizations and on the uh, I think in the newest roadmap. The Flutter team specifically mentioned that search engine optimization is not mm. something that they're gonna be focusing on. So yeah. I was wondering how how are you gonna solve that problem in terms yep. of yeah having your content be picked up by um, you know search engines. That's uh, definitely a top question. Like uh, it was also kind of nagging me for a while trying to figure out. Okay, so what's the plan ahead, right? Because it seems to be a yeah <laughs> no go situation, right? Um, so I also did my own research. I understood, okay, so you can pick up between HTML or Canvas renderer, but the HTML one is not going to create you, you know, top of the line SEO content. So definitely it's not a solution. SSR is not the option. So you cannot render it via Flutter, you know, straight away and then get some bot to crawl it. So that kind of left me with the current idea, which has to be yet proven, right? But uh, my assumption is that um, if your user is logged in, then you direct him to the Flutter app, right? And he can consume it in Flutter environment. But if you get one of these users that is not logged in and most likely a crawl bot or whatever, then you direct him to the SSR, which is rendered by whatever library you fancy, right? Mustache okay. or whatever, right? So you can generate these pages, Google bot can read them, you can index the content and then assume, okay, this URL is going to provide you these words and that's the general topic. And from mm -hmm. here on, it's the general SEO story, right? So that's the escape hatch that I see ahead for this problem. And it's a big okay. one because, yeah. But that's a, oh, yeah, sorry. That's actually a really good idea. You know, I, I've been, because I've been thinking about, you know, searching optimizations and I was thinking, okay, we uh, we just have to maybe use some like server-side rendering to, to just get them to get this problem solved and maybe like just for like in terms of flutter um because your site has to be able to have urls right you have different yeah. urls for different resources different yeah. communities and the user ha the users have two different ways to share the urls they could press the share button you provide in, in your ui or they could just copy the link or on their yeah. mobile version they could press you know, the iOS, they ha it has a share button. Mm. Um, and that would just share whatever the link that's currently in the URL bar, which may or may not be the link that you would like them to share, which may or may not be the link that it's going to direct them to a service I render, you know, backend. Um, yep. And when they when they share it to their social media, like say, you know, like Twitter or whatever, um, Discord, uh, you want to be able to have the title and the metadata and the, the, the icons and the images, right? You want to be able to show all that um, to have like a rich link tag or a rich link like card, um, so maybe like what I'm hearing is that uh you want to create a a backend first and that'd be like the entry point for any user for any mm -hmm. whatever agent that's requesting for your site, and you you check the the you check the user agent uh, header, um and if it's a like if it's a browser, then you provide the further bundle and yeah. if it's not a browser then you like you query your database and get the information um absolutely yeah and so oh sorry sorry go ahead yeah just wanted to say like not only if it's a bot but uh, you also get the benefit of like dodging this problem of like downloading the big bundle right mm -hmm. when a new user comes in so if he's not logged in then you can easily serve him this uh, html that's, that's generated a good thing. idea it's gonna oh. be fast right half a second, whatever, right? Depends on like how good is your server. And usually you should be able to do it. And therefore there, I don't really care to have like all these feeds of data, you know, who's online, who's doing this, who's marking that, because he's not being, um, the page is not interactive to the mm. fullest, right? You get the links, you get the- it's like a landing nice, page. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like HTML and then like, it's oh, gonna work also for users fast, right? Mm. So. That's something that is probably a very good solution, I assume. It's it's yet to be tested. But how are you going to detect if they're logged in, though? Well, I mean, like, technical part, I'm still researching. So here I cannot say, like, straight away, hey, I'm going to do this and that. You know, like, this is where I'm still in the phase of, like, trying to 
put the puzzle together. Right now I'm like spending heavy time in like patching up my side of the UX and UI and like just leaving the uh, existing team into the UI part. Mm. They just want to focus completely for the next four to five months only on server side, getting these, you know, architecture choices figured out. By now I have some ideas in my head of how do I want to put up together this server. Um, as for getting this information, I do have to do a bit of research to figure out exactly how this is going to be detected if the user is logged in or not. But I guess it's going to involve some sort of, you know, local storage solution where you keep your, you know, tokens and then you can get the token and, okay, that user is logged in and yeah. serve him the Flutter bundle and so on. So, yeah. um, I guess yeah, I don't... That... Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I was just saying, I, I don't have like, right now the exact steps that i would take you know step by step how to do it but it's more or less yeah, mm -hmm. just a bit of research and then you put them together so yeah mm -hmm. i've been more or less thinking about this problem as well i i don't have a lot of user content like i don't have like that much user content as in like infinite user content as in i don't have i only have finite number of links that i, I want in, in my app um, so mm -hmm. I don't have the problem of I, I want any user to be able to be able to generate a link and shareable and to be mm -hmm. be able to be yeah. picked up by by a search engine bot. Um, but still, I I've been thinking about you know how do I make a link search engine and social media card friendly? Um, 